Hi, I'm Louise. I don't know about y'all, but this summer has been super hot for me, and it makes me not want to go outside and do anything in the summer. I also just have a hard time with the heat. I'm more of a autumn fan myself, and so I find myself feeling a little like I spent a lot of time inside during the summer. <laughs> And I feel kind of bad that I haven't really done those typical summer activities, but it's just too hot for me to go outside. But as a sort of replacement, I've been thinking about games that I like playing that kind of feel like this, feel like summer to me, and kind of the activities that I like to participate in the summertime, and stuff I would like to do when it's not so hot outside. As much as I love games that have combat, sometimes in the summer I just want to relax and enjoy a game and not have to worry about fighting anything. <laughs> so here are some cozy summer games for those hot summer days when you don't want to go outside. The first game I'd like to talk about reminds me of when I was younger. I would play games outside in the backyard. We'd use hot sold objects to fight each other and to feel like we were exploring the wilderness and other times we just explore nature too. We had this lovely creek up the road from my parents' house with lots of fun plants and little creatures to see everywhere. The game I'm thinking of is Smooshy Come Home. Smooshy Come Home is a cozy adventure game where you play as a little mushroom trying to get home. It's fairly simple it's fairly simple on its premise but very cute in its execution. You explore this lovely foresty area and just get to enjoy na nature as a small little guy. As you progress, you get more tools that help you maneuver around the environment. All of these objects are large and unusual to the mushroom, and they get these cute names and uses. It's just really fun. Not only that, but each character you come across has so much personality. I've had such a great time with the dialogue of the game. There's just so much warmth and silliness that I just adore. It almost feels like playing in the backyard with your friends and each character is just one of your friends playing some character that they came up with. <laughs> you also get to learn about different mushrooms, which I found to be really fun. It's not like a huge part of the game, but it's really fun to just have this sort of catalog of mushrooms you come across. And like, of course your little mushroom guy is going to be into cataloging mushrooms. I don't know, I just thought that was really cute detail. And just all in all, it's a super cute game with a lot of personality. Highly recommend for people who spend a lot of time outside as kids and want to kind of capture that feeling of playing outside with your friends <laughs> a little bit. But if that's not your thing, and if you'd rather be spending your summer outside in the wilderness, like camping, I have another game that I would recommend to you. Um, especially... <laughs> if you like management games. One of the games I've been really loving this summer is Baron Breakfast. Baron Breakfast is a hotel management game where you play as a bear. I love management games myself. I play a lot and I know sometimes they can come across as difficult to learn. Like initially it's kind of difficult to get over that learning curve of like, okay, now you have to learn this mechanic and this mechanic, but I feel like Baron Breakfast does a really good job of getting you into the gameplay and teaching you how to play the game. I feel like I've played not that much, honestly, but I have gotten into the gameplay loop pretty quickly when in other management games it takes a while to get to that time where you're feeling like, oh, I think I understand how to play this game. And not only that, it's super cute. The art style of the game is just beautiful and feels kind of homey and outdoorsy at the same time. You get to decorate and configure your hotel. There's more than just one. Um, <laughs> you get to decorate and style your hotel with fun furniture as well as customize your fare you're playing. So if customization is more your thing, I'd highly recommend this game. Too. I, I would highly recommend just exploring in the game is really fun and meeting new people and hearing what they have to say. <laughs> I highly recommend Baron Breakfast if you like hotel management games or just management games and just want to feel like you're in the wilderness enjoying nature when you don't have to necessarily be in the wilderness enjoying nature. <laughs> 
And if those two games aren't necessarily your thing and you'd rather spend your day exploring a city in a new way, I have another game for you. Sometimes the best part of the summer is just exploring new places and finding new ways to explore the world around you. The game I'm thinking of is Little Kitty Big City. Little Kitty starts this adorable little black kid who's trying to find their way back home. This is also an adventure game, but you, and you get to play this time rather than as a mushroom as a cat. And I think the devs really played into this in a lot of fun and creative ways. There's a button just dedicated to meowing. And then there's also like a set of expressions that you can use and they all feel very cat-like, which is fun. They're not just like human expressions on a cat. I'm like, no, these are cat expressions that cats have a lot. <laughs> you can spend your time knocking over pots, ruining people's paintings or making them better, tripping people and stealing their phones and their lunch and like just knocking stuff over. It's just delightful. There's also like quests that you can do for other animals. And some of the stuff they ask for is really funny to me. They have just, again, the characters in this game have a lot of personality and they're so fun to just interact with and see what they're asking for. I don't know, the way that the animals interpret what's going on around them, I think is really funny. <laughs> you also collect hats. There's so many different hats to collect throughout the game and they're all really cute. I love that kind of thing. So if that's your kind of thing, it's, it's really fun. And overall, the game is just fun to traverse and kind of explore this city with all kinds of stuff to do. There's birds to catch. There's people to trip over. It's just, it's just a delight. If you'd rather spend your day, your summer days gardening and being outside cultivating nature, I'd recommend Botany Manor. Botany Manor is a puzzle game where you're exploring the beautiful grounds of Botany Manor and solving puzzles to figure out the perfect conditions with which to grow specific plants. It's a, it's super relaxing and just it has such a relaxing atmosphere and fun surprises around every corner. The art style is just beautiful and feels lived in and has a lot of sweet personality. There's also a bit of a story about the character you're playing and the time period she's living in as well. It's fun to learn about the house and about the characters who lived in the house. It is in first person, so if that's not your thing, just be aware of that. I know that some people that can make the motion sick. It did have a lot of settings in the game to help with that, I think. I didn't really mess with that, but and overall, I just think it's really fun and the puzzles aren't too difficult from what I remember. <laughs> And it's just, it feels nice to like figure something out and be like, oh yeah. It um also has like a book that you look at as you're going through. So it'll help you keep track of the clues. So you're not just like trying to mentally remember everything, which I'm kind of bad at. So that was really nice for me because I could always look at the book and be like, okay, here's what I found out about this, this, and this thing. And this will help me figure out how to do this anyway. They do a good job of making it accessible to people who, like me, don't have a great short-term memory. <laughs> and if you're more of a eat watermelon all day and just eat snacks in the summer kind of person rather than just going out and doing stuff, because that's definitely how I am sometimes. And if you're looking for a game to play with somebody else, I'd highly recommend Pizza Possum. This is an arcade game where you and another player, if you'd like, you don't have to play it with somebody else, try to eat as much as you can before being caught by the local police force. All the police officers are different dogs. <laughs> and I just think they're really cute. You have like the hound dog that'll yell and get all the other dogs running if you run into him. And then there's like the little tiny I don't know what kind of dog it is, but they're just really cute. And then there's also villagers that you come across. And as you get bigger, it makes it harder to run. So you have to be careful to like balance how much you're eating versus anyway. So you can get around <laughs> at the speed that you want. <laughs> I just find this game really silly and chaotic and fun. 
I had such a fun time playing it with my husband. We were just laughing so much because we'd come across something and if you're playing with somebody else, they can like save you from the police and so sometimes we'd like get caught and then the other person would have to run and help and then they would have to try and get away quickly anyway it's really fun really silly and it's incentivizes you to play through it more than one time so basically you're trying to get up to the top and get the giant pizza of the little tiny dog king and once you make it through that run you get like a crown and if you make it through another run without getting caught again, if you do that three times, there's some kind of reward, but we didn't make it. We made it through twice, but we got caught the third time. So I don't know what happens, but it is fun to like go through. And there's lots of different ways you can go up the hill. It's not really mountain, go up the hill. And so there's different areas you can explore as you go up again. Anyway, highly recommend it. Very funny, very silly, and we just had a blast playing it. Do you have a favorite game you like to play in the summer? I honestly find summer to be kind of a pain. I'm just kind of waiting for fall to come. So I'm glad I can pass the summer away at home in the air conditioning where I can play cozy games and just chill. <laughs> Um, and thank you so much for watching. This has been such a delightful month for me. Shark Week has been such a blast. I, um, I'm trying to think of other ways to do stuff like that in the future, but we'll see. I'll definitely be doing Shark Week again next year. I just have such a blast with it every year, so thank you so much for watching. <laughs> This game that I'm thinking of is Smooshy, Smooshy, Smoo, I actually don't know how to say that because they don't ever say it in the game. <laughs>